Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Monster Train. Today we're going to start up a new run. We're going to be doing Hellhorned Melting Remnant. So, what I'm thinking for the Hellhorned Melting Remnant is we're going to go with an Imp deck and we're going to go with a Reform deck. So we got the Shardtail Queen here. Let's go ahead and depart. We got Hornbreak, Molded, and Impressive. Uh, impressive pretty good hornbreak pretty good spell we don't have any like explicitly damaging spells and the piercing is always nice when you play a unit a random card in hand is reduced to zero energy until played or discarded when you summon your first imp unit each turn yes i will absolutely take the queen's tail now i've never used the shard tail queen before so i'm interested to see what these upgrades have in store for us action Kill all imp units. Deal 20 damage per imp to enemy units. Or resolve. Add a queen's impling to your hand. Imps cost... Imp units cost minus one on this floor. I'm gonna take that. I will do this. We're using imps to do a lot of our damage, so it doesn't really matter. Most of these guys are just gonna die immediately. Uh, put down your champ. Hornbreak you. You are dying. That's beautiful. I uh, put a train store out in front just to take the heat, and you're done. It will definitely be just doing this. You're dying. That's beautiful. Go ahead and use Primitive Mold. What do we get? We got ourselves a Train Steward with Burnout 1. Uh, I guess I'll put... Uh, you're going to burn out immediately, but we'll just put you up here anyways. Get ourselves a Brief Respite. Uh... Just put some Imps down here. There's really no point in playing an imp down here. Quite yet. Let's go ahead and reform a unit. Put you out here. All good. Taking 35. You're burning out. Uh, let's put down a queen's impling here. You're taking 10. I don't want to flood this floor. Maybe taking the killing an imp it wouldn't be too bad of a thing. I guess we're just gonna do this. <laughs> there are no more cards for us to draw. I don't know, just put you up here. We can't fit anyone else down here. Uh, we'll kill you there in the back. We'll do this to deal 50 damage. Uh, just use Weight of Contrition. We should be able to kill you next turn. Use Primitive Mold. Yes, that is exactly what we needed. Put a Train Steward out here. Oh wait, we can just do this. Perfect. I will take a Molting Imp. Purifying Cleanse, Wicklash. I'll take more Reforms. And... Hmm. So we're basically just going to be reforming a bunch of Imps. I guess just having a baseline Demon Fiend won't be too bad. Uh... Hmm. We'll go here to upgrade our units. Upgrade a unit with Quick. I'll put that on the Demon Fiend. Then I'm gonna purge myself a Train Steward. Get you out of here. What do you got for me? Another Demon Fiend? Sure. Adding some tanky units to combine with like our Imp Floor. Nah. Our Pyre already took 20 damage. You always gotta keep that in mind.
We're gonna put you up here. You down here. And then we're gonna put a demon fiend on the top floor. Now we have ourselves a brief respite, beautiful. Uh, let's put a train steward in front of you to take care of both of these enemies. And then we can just kinda keep doing this. Perform a unit. And do that. Beautiful. You're both dying. Put down a Molting Imp to get rid of the spikes here. Horn break you. Then we just play Queen's Implings. Do some extra damage. Yeah, you have sweep. <laughs> that was a very sad noise. Put you down. do this. Then what we can do is we can put you out here, sacrifice you, then reform you again to give you give you some more burnout, and put you out here again. Now you're taking 52. Then we reform a Molting Imp, and we put you out here, and now you're dying. <laughs> that was really fun. I kind of like Imp decks. Horn break, fortify. I'll take another horn break. We're more so just looking for uh, reforms. And we also want a way. Oh, we can duplicate a card now. I don't think there's really anything I want to duplicate or a melting remnant unit I want to gain. I'd rather just gain the pyre health. Uh, I'll take the hammered chest plate. What do you got for me, concealed caverns? I'll give myself some more energy. put you down here even though you're taking 10 I don't particularly care then put your demon fiend up at the top obviously if we get consumer of crowns that's a must take put your demon fiend down here then go queen zimpling queen zimpling queen zimpling beautiful using a tuned here doesn't really mean anything so let's just do that So let's go ahead and put the, <coughs> the Queen Zimpling out here. You're dying, that's good. You're dying, that's even better. But I can kill you a little faster, I'm pretty sure. Put you back here. Put you back here. And do this, then do that. Alright. <coughs> Excuse my coughing, I just ate. Uh, let's go ahead and reform a unit. Uh, all we can really do is just put you down here. And I'll horn break you to deal less damage. I guess I'll put a train steward up here. This is all completely fine. Yeah, we're good. Let's horn break you. Oh, we can't afford to put a train to it. Let's do that. Uh, let's reform. Uh, 
No, let's just horn break you twice. Alright, so we definitely want to do this. Then play an imp. Then mold something. And do this. Put you out here. Use Vengeful Shard, and we're all good. And you are dying. If I could get a Consumer of Crowns- Oh, I should have done that. If I can get, like, a Consumer of Crowns or upgrade these Demon Fiends with Multi-Strike, that'd be really nice. Now, Formless Child. Ooh, Transcend Imp. We should take that. Paraffin Enforcer. None of these really interest me. I think more capacity would do us good, being able to summon more imps. We definitely want to go here, because I want to get multi-strike on these, uh... Or a large stone, that would work too. Yeah, that's completely fine. Let's get, uh... We'll get a battle stone on you. And then let's purge a train steward. Oh, we could have uh, we could have removed one of the blights that we had. Uh, let's re-roll one more time. Hmm. I'll give you some more HP. Rally. Whenever you play a card, gain plus 10, or resolve, add a fledgling imp to your hand instead of a queen's impling. Fledgling imp will apply rage 5 to friendly units. I think I'd rather take this rally since we're just like Oh, I haven't collected all the rewards? Oh, I haven't healed. My two pyre health. Nah, don't do that. We're experimenting here. Alright, I'm gonna put you down here. Oh, we can actually afford to put a demon fiend in front of you. That's really funny. Uh, but we don't want to do that. We just want to do that. And then, uh, we'll put you down here. I'm gonna put you down here, you down here, and put you down here. Uh, use Impressive, so now you're dying. We can afford to use all of these, but... Alright, you have an incant, so don't do that. Um, hmm. I don't want to put you out in front. That way you're dying. Now let's use Primitive Mold again. And we can put another one out here, and we'll get the gold. Do that, we can Horn Break you for an easy kill. We can Molting Imp here. Queen's Impling, and now you are dying, that's beautiful. Uh, I will put a train steward up here, and then just go ahead and, uh... I don't know. I as well just keep you in our deck. wonder how much damage Transcendent will do. A lot, that's the answer. <laughs> Look at him, he's glowing, he's beautiful. Alright, we'll just kill you. I don't want to play any other units. Uh, I'll reform... I'll reform you. Get ourselves a brief respite. Just play the Vengeful Shard. We can reform a random unit. And that's about it. Alright, so we... <clears throat> 
We can play our demon fiend on the top floor if we please, but something I want to do is kill you and reform you. Then first you play this. All summon effects triggered so far in this battle. So what you want to do is you want to do this. Use primitive mold, get yourself another queen's impling. Put another Queen's Impling out there, and now this will do a lot of damage. Yes, beautiful. Transcendent was a really good pickup. I'll take another Impressive. Ooh, Fatal Melting. That's interesting, but so is Crushing Demise. Crushing Demise is a little bit better. I'm gonna go here. Remove me a few train stewards. A few stewies. Extinguish abilities trigger an additional time. Units get an extra upgrade slot. I'm gonna buy that. Don't give me spikes. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna put you up here and put you out in front. We have no units to reform. So all we really can do is just do that. All right, put you up here. Put you down here. Put you down here. Then use primitive mold to reform a queen's impling and just put you out here. What I'm wondering is if we play Transcendent multiple times, will it repeat the effects of a Transcendent? We're getting really meta in this bitch. <laughs> I'll put you down here. I'll put you up here. I'll use this. Sack you, then play Transcendent. Let's play Crushing Demise here. Can Crushing Demise kill our champion? <laughs> if that's the case, then that may have been a, like a much riskier play than I initially thought. Do that, we'll sacrifice you. Use primitive mold here, we get molting imp, that's beautiful. Millennia have not been kind to you, my children. That's absolutely true. You're dying immediately, that's beautiful. Uh, I would like to sacrifice you so we can reform you in the future. I'll just put you down. Vengeful shard. Horn break you. Don't use primitive mold because I want to save our. Oh wait, we can do this. All right, we got molded. First, let's play you. Then let's grab our transcendent. Well, actually, we have two molded. So let's grab you. Then use primitive mold. All right, we got our Transcendent back. So... Play you. Leave room for our Transcendent. Well, actually, we can just kill one of you with a Horn Break. Or would we rather... I think we would rather just summon another Queen's Impling. Put you up here. You up here. You up here. Then play your Transcendent. That actually did less than I thought. But, here's what we can do. Bring him back. 
You're dealing 100 damage. That's beautiful. I should have played that. We can get Impolate. Impolate's just gonna do way too much for us to avoid that. I think I'll skip. I'm looking for a consumer of crowns, honestly. But we can't- I don't think we can get that. We're not gonna get too many more units after this. Now what should we duplicate? I don't think we should duplicate anything. I think we should go here. Ooh, summon abilities trigger an additional time. That's beautiful. Now we can upgrade a spell to gain holdover. I think we'll do that. Reroll once to see what this does. Remove consume. None of our spells consume. We're usually going to have enough energy. I think just... Purging a vengeful shard is the best use of our money right now. Alright, put you down. Put you down. And then put you down. Horn break you in the back. Put you down. you down then I'll play you that kills you that's beautiful then we're gonna put a demon fiend up here I would like to kill you if possible. Alright, that was actually- that was easier than I thought. We would like this Transcendent to die. Uh, you're gonna be a lot more useful. And put this guy out. Now you're only taking 10 and you're dying. Go ahead and reform a unit. Put a Queen Zimpling out there. Alright, you're dealing 115. Put you out here. Let's reform a unit. And put you out here. That's already dealing 70 damage. Use Primitive Mold. And Molded. Get Molting Imp back out here, just because. We want to play as many Imps as feasible. Use this. Put the Queen's Impling out here. Uh, reform you. God, you're dealing so much damage. That's so beautiful. Uh, put you down here, and then we'll just do Primitive Mold twice. Not enough capacity, we'll put you up there. We'll Impolate. Uh, you're burning out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll sacrifice an Imp just to make some more room down here. Then we'll use two Primitive Molds. I'll grab two Queen's Implings, put you out here. Use this. Uh, Impolate. I should have done that first. I'll do this. Deal 50 damage. And then I'll kill both of you just to make room on this floor. It's the final wave. We didn't get a Molded, which is unfortunate. We should probably remove some Horn Breaks. 
We're hoping that we get a Transcend Imp here. All right, we didn't. We'll draw him next time, though. There's really not much rush in... Oh, you're dying already? Beautiful. I was gonna say, there's really not too much rush in this deck. Apply Endless to a friendly unit. We could put that on the Transcend Imp. But then again, we could always just upgrade him. Do we want more capacity, more energy, or more draw? I'm gonna take more draw. Hmm. I think I'd rather go here. Upgrade a unit with quick. We can afford to do that. Let's re-roll. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Damn it. And we don't want to make our imps any stronger. That was kind of a waste. Hmm. I'll take the hammer, plus one capacity on each floor. Let's upgrade our champion. So we can either replace our queen's impling with a fledgling imp. So what would be the difference if we apply Rage instead of doing 10 damage to the frontmost unit? That means... Alright, that's actually better. Because Rage is going to add 10 damage regardless. Yeah, I'll get 400 gold, make this deck even stronger. Because Rage is going to add 10 attack regardless of what happens. I'm going to put you down. And put you down up here. You have Ember Drain, that kind of sucks. You got Spell Shield too, huh? Alright, put you down. Then put you down. We'll put you down here, so you're dying. I guess we'll just impalate, get rid of the spell shield. Down a fledgling imp, down a queen's impling. Guess we'll just keep on impalating. Does hornbreak pierce through? It does pierce through spell shield. All right, that's important. We're gonna kill you. We're gonna be getting a lot of Ember Drain, which is pretty unfortunate. There are no more cards to draw. Put you out here. And I guess I'll just put you out here. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh no, I should have done that because now we don't have Ember Drain. Or we have some Ember Drain, but not too much. down a fledgling imp. Give me a molting imp to take care of those backline units. And I'll summon a queen's impling. We'll impalate. Put a queen's impling up here. We would like you to die. I'm gonna get that squared away. No! Oh, that was so- I knew that was a gamble. Hey, we got our Transcendent back. How much damage does this do? An insane amount. Maybe we don't need a queen. Oh wait, we can just reform her. Alright, cool. Uh, you're gonna burn out in one turn, so I'm just gonna put you up here to let you, uh, do your thing. Get ourselves a brief respite. Let's just bring back the Shark Tail Queen.
We don't have molded, so we can't use our transcendent quite yet. Keep in mind, these guys are all dying in one hit. Oh wait. I think we have one. Alright. <laughs> this is... Have I been missing out? Are imps insane? I won't take any of those. Sure, I'll take memories of the melted. So we can duplicate a card here. Would I rather do that or upgrade units and vent? I think I'd rather... Wait, upgrade units and purge, not vent. What am I talking about? Oh, I see. We don't have dead weight in our deck anymore. So we don't actually have two blight cards. So we should remove this. Now what else? I'm gonna get rid of Crushing Demise. Just because that scares me. What do you got here? Friendly units enter with Rage 3. Sure. Let's have greater units before pursuing more. We can give you another large stone. You're definitely gonna have a floor to yourself. Sure, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and reroll here. We don't have any cards with consume. Would we be better off just purging a horn break? Wait, I think the purge is less expensive here. Alright, no, it's the same cost. We're gonna just purge a horn break. We can only upgrade an imp. Well, we gotta... We should upgrade something. Thing is, we want these imps to die, so... I think it's the optimal play. Let's see what we get here. Okay, upgrading with Rage 7. That's completely fine. Yeah, I'll just put it, put it on the Queen's Impling. And upgrading attack is fine, too. As long as it's not making them live longer, was that's my main concern. What are you doing? The first spelled card played each turn gets consumed. We should play our Demon Fiend. Put you down here, put you down here. You self-mutilation. We'll do a Molting Imp. Use this guy. This is gonna get consumed anyways. Well actually, just doing, just sacrificing an Imp might be the play. Now let's do Memories of the Melted, then let's reform a unit. We get a Queen's Impling. We can do this. Oh, we'd, I actually don't want to sacrifice. I'll sacrifice you, because we want to reform you regardless. might need to spend a molded just to protect our pyre. I think we do. Put you out here. You guys are all dying. Alright, that's fine. Uh, put you out here first. Then put you down here. You can horn break you, then just self mutilation and get rid of that. You guys are dying. That's not good. We can't have that. We'll sacrifice you. 
And we'll just mold it up here, give ourselves a transcendent again. First put you down here. Then put you down here. Then put you down here. Holy crap. This is this is a really insane run. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we get here. We get a Queen Zimpling. Put you up here. Put you down here. Uh, we should do this. Consume a permanent of mold. I'll put you, you down here. And then I'll use another primitive mold. We get a fledgling imp. We can't even play you. Alright, I'll put you up here. Just to get an extra summon trigger for our transcend imp in the future. You. Oh, wait, we're gonna consume that. That's fine, we have enough horn breaks. Put you down here. We'll do this, this. Then if we sacrifice you, you're gonna be dying too, huh? Alright, then I think just doing this is the right play. Yes, it was. We have one, one uh, thing remaining. Use Primitive Mold here. We get our Fledgling Imp back. Uh, we'll use Impolate. Put you down here. Then put you down here. All three of you guys are dying now. We can Hornbreak you. You're taking 601 damage. Yeah. I think the Exile Champion might be better. Uh, let's implement you. Let's grab Molded and get our Transcendent back out here. Put you up here because we're going to get an energy. Yes. Then use Primitive Mold. We get ourselves another Queen's Impling. Summon you up here to gain another Summon Trigger. We're gonna put you in the front. And now you're dying. Well, this was a pretty insane run. I did... I really wasn't expecting that plan to work out so incredibly well. We have ignited the Frozen Heart with ease with the Shardtail Queen. That was absolutely beautiful. You get a Covenant rank up, up to Covenant rank 10. Apply Ember Drain 1 to the first friendly unit played on the top floor each turn. You get a bunch of golden cards, hell yeah. We get a record for status effects applied. And look at that. Hellhorn has all four banners. Absolutely amazing. 1, 7, 8, 9. Alright. Uh, next time on Monster Train. We... Oh wait, hold on, let's check our logbook. I really like the design of the Shardtail Queen. We are going to be doing Awoken Hellhorned. That is interesting. What should we do with Awoken Hellhorned? Let's, let's plan it out now. So we got a really fast run in, so we actually have time to plan. So, uh, I like Wildenton more than the default champion. The default champion doesn't have gold. <laughs> uh, let's see. The default champion relies a lot on rejuvenate triggers. I don't think imps would work very well with Awoken Hellhorned. I think maybe for next time, we're just gonna do the default Awoken Champion and then the default Hellhorned spells. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.